as I say in my book, The Apocalypse of Settler Colonialism, what had happened in the run-up to these events that I'm talking about, such as 1655 to 1688, was the Thirty Years' War in Europe, uh, which concludes roughly in 1648, which was a period of tremendous bloodshed. And because of this incessant warfare, uh, that helped to give birth to uh, advancements in technology. Advancements not only in terms of weaponry, which I talk about in this book, but advancements in terms of military formations. And it was that advancement in military technology and military formations that were then deployed in Africa and the Americas, leading to the subjugation of Africans and indigenous populations. And uh, the result is uh, you have a person like myself with probably roots in West Africa here in North America speaking a language that was developed in Northwest Europe, English. The cause was the slaughter of millions, millions of Africans, millions of indigenous peoples. The cause was the decimation, particularly of the indigenous population of the Americas. It was a cost paid in blood. It was a cost paid in warped ideology too, because as many of us now recognize, it led to a kind of deformation of the thinking of many of those who were designated as quote, white, unquote, uh, a deformation that I'm afraid continues to this very day. So the methods, of course, were military in, in the first place. Other than military, I would say ideological uh, exploitation is a key to the continuation of white supremacy. But I should also say, uh, once again, that the Africans were not necessarily supinely accepting their fate. Uh, as I say in my book on 1776, uh, particularly as you see the slave trade increasing in the run-up to the foundation of the United States of America in 1776, you see that uh, slave revolts are increasing. Not only in slave revolts, because uh, I don't think you should see rebellion only in the sense of, say, Nat Turner, as represented in the movie Birth of a Nation by Nate Parker. You should see it in terms of poisoning and the statutes against poison, the exploitation of herbs and plants by Africans to poison their masters. You should see it in terms of arson, of the burning down of plantations and fields, for example. You should see it in terms of murder as well and stabbings and assault and battery. And so we turned the tables on these oppressors here in North America. And all of this bespeaks something that really should be underscored, which is obviously we need a new narrative <laughs> about the history of this country and the history of black people in this country. 